out of 10 topics only one was the safest and uh, only three topics were somehow safe rest of the topics were very much technical and uh, not safe for the candidates if any of the candidates has opted to those topics it is not going to benefit them in the end because they are very risky topics and css is an exam where you have to reduce risks where you have to be very much judgmental where you have to up the topics which make your future career and path hello viewers and aspirants welcome to virtual sales services academy by the day Landa. and in today's topic i will be analyzing css essay 2022 guys if you remember i had already given talks on writing of essay essay skills and essay topics which are safe and should be attempted in CSS examinations. So, if you have not yet picked up CSS essay paper in your hands, please pick it up. And I have also CSS 2022 paper in my hands. Uh, let me just read out the topics for you. First topic is an analysis of the concept of globalization of markets. Second topic is digital democracy, social and political participation. Third topic is global trade and trade policies of China. Fourth is imagination is more important than knowledge. Fifth is global politics and international relations. Sixth one is controversial issues of feminism in contemporary women's rights movements. Seventh is world food system the economics of agriculture. Eighth is is there any such thing as ethical consumerism. Ninth is human development and economic sustainability last is how is terrorism and its perception shaped by the mass media so guys these are 10 topics and uh, i have uh, analyzed that six topics are not suitable at all if anybody has attempted those six topics he must expect the worst scenario because the topics were just to lure you just to trap you they were basically not the topics which are mature css uh, candidates would have attempted and i i will give my analysis for each topic in detail so out of the, these 10 topics four which are as digital democracy imagination is more important than knowledge controversial issues of feminism in contemporary world and uh, fourth is, is there any such thing as ethical consumerism these four topics are not at all worth attempting because they are very much uh, difficult topics and out of the remaining six topics the only two topics which are safe is topic number nine human development and economic sustainability and uh, topic number five global politics and international relations this topic number five global politics and international relations was one of the most expected topics and it would have been very easy especially for the candidates who had opted international relations or international law or political science this was safe topic and most safest of all the topics was human development and economic sustainability so well, let's go topic wise so i am starting with an analysis of uh, concept of globalization of markets now this is very much technical topic and uh, this is fit for the candidates who have done international economics msc in international economics or have really studied marketing and i believe that not many candidates come from economics and marketing background and this is very technical uh, subject because you need to understand not only the concept of globalization of the markets but also trade and other uh, tools of business are being integrated into the world economy through and what is the uh, role of WTO there because WTO gives some certain provisions for these kind of agreements free trade agreements topic number one and topic number two are basically similar topics you must keep in mind the topic number one and topic number two are similar topics there is only change of phraseology there is slight difference between free trade agreements or integration and globalization of markets and if anyone has opted any of these topics they may be having serious troubles in passing this paper because even if you if you go for 
टॉपिक नंबर थ्री ग्लोबल ट्रेड एंड ट्रेड पॉलिसीज ऑफ चाइना यू नीड ए लॉट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट चाइना पॉलिसीज एंड इट्स फ्री ट्रेड एग्रीमेंट्स विद द ग्लोबल पार्टनर्स यू नीड टू हैव अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ डब्ल्यू टी ओ इट्स प्रोविजन फॉर फ्री ट्रेड एग्रीमेंट एंड सो ऑन आई बिलीव दैट ओनली पीपल कमिंग फ्राम इंटरनेशनल इकनॉमिक्स एंड ग्लोबल मार्केटिंग बैकग्राउंड वुड हैव दिस इंफॉर्मेशन बट दीज थिंग्स आर सच थिंग्स विच आर अपडेटेड वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली एंड आई बिलीव दैट नॉट मेनी कैंडिडेट्स वुड हैव गॉट दिस इंफॉर्मेशन टू इनकॉर्पोरेट इन देयर एस एस दैट्स वाई आई से दैट दीज बोथ ऑफ दीज एस एस आर डुएबल बट नॉट फॉर एवरी बॉडीज कप ऑफ दी फॉर दे आर नॉट फॉर ईच कैंडिडेट दे आर फॉर स्पेशलाइज स्टूडेंट्स आर स्पेशलाइज कैंडिडेट्स हुव डन देयर मास्टर्स इन मार्केटिंग और इकनॉमिक्स then let's go to the, go to the topic number 2 digital democracy social media and political participation and i believe that this is also not a safe topic why it is not safe topic because first of all you need to understand the concept of digital democracy basic question is same what is democracy what's its role in governance what is its political process only word digital has been added process is same what many candidates would have done they would have taken in the concept of uh, role of uh, social media and democracy and this was also a trap where many candidates would have opted this uh, essay and i am sorry uh, i am really feeling sorry for them because this is not safe topic and if they pass that would be a miracle so i have already spoken on global trade and trade policies of china because i told you that this is very technical topic and not many candidates would have updated this topic and if any has done this either he must ma in international economics or should must be main of marketing otherwise even if any candidate has done who has no background of economics or marketing would be having trouble now there's fourth topic imagination is more important than knowledge this is very a strict topic and it is from a literature if you are imaginative if you have if you believe in abstract topics if you have firm command over abstract terminology you may up but again i had already i would repeat here that in my talks i had told the aspirants and candidates not to up the abstract topics but because abstract topics are not the safe topics if anyone goes for such topics there are thin chances of is or her success in such kind of essays i don't think that this is a safe topic if and if you have attempted this topic i wish you best of luck question number 5 is was most expected and we had discussed with many candidates and aspirants and uh, we had diff- as a discuss different aspects of this topic global politics and international relations i told them them to be ready for is world heading towards world war 3 or can the third world war be avoided so global politics and international relations for the topic which was also safe and secure but especially for the candidates who had international law constitutional law ir it was not safe for all of the candidates it was current and uh, after in vain in vain of russia and ukraine it was expected that, that such kind of topic would be given in css sa paper and uh, most of the candidates would have worked on such kind of topics that's why it was safe and i believe that uh, the candidates who have opted this who this topic would be feeling in a comfortable zone and i hope and i wish them best of luck then we have six topic uh, controversial issues of feminism and this is the topic that has been appearing in css exam that has been coming in css papers in the last 3 4 years and uh, all those candidates who have opted this topic have have got big failures in fact and this is also not a very safe topic basically it is very difficult to balance these kind of topics and therefore one must go for the safe topics you are given 10 topics there is no hurry there is no need of opting for the topics that are controversial that are difficult to handle where religious and socio psychological uh, impacts are to be given that's why these kind of topics are never considered safe I believe that some of the candidates would have opted this topic but I am sure that this topic is not so safe it should not have been opted so the, then we have topic number 7 world right. food security the economics of agriculture again this is very technical topic and food security is a very big issue and 
uh, one has to get firm command over not only uh, food and agriculture organizations role and uh, WTO's role in uh, implementation of uh, agriculture agreement on trade and also detailed analysis of food sector with uh, issues, problems and it is again a technical yeah. subject and uh, only the candidates from uh, economics background would have tackled it in a very better way. It was not for all candidates, it was for candidates who have a specialization in economics and also in marketing. Otherwise, it was not safe for the rest of the candidates. So next we have topic number 8, the most difficult topic in CSS 2022 is Is there such a thing as ethical consumerism? It is one of the most difficult topics I think in this essay but it is very much technical and specialized and only candidates from marketing side would have been able to tackle this, this topic in a very effective way. For the rest of the candidates, this was not the topic to opt. If they have opted, they have made huge blunder. Then topic number nine. If I had been appearing in CSS 2022, I would have opted topic number nine, human development and economic sustainability. This is one of the most safest topic in this paper and uh, overall it would have been opted by a lot of candidates because of many reasons. Because you would have during the study, during the study of uh, CSS you would have studied human development, HDI, human development index, millennium development goal or SDGs and you would have seen the economic issues as well and the uh, role of human development and economic development is very critical and I believe that most of the candidates at least six, 70 to 80 percent of the candidates would have opted this topic and it is one of the safest topics and there are greater chance of success uh, for those who have opted this topic. Topic number 10 is on terrorism. How is terrorism and its perception shaped by mass media? This topic number 10 is also doable but sometimes you are digressed in such kind of topics because you have to involve certain things, you have to take up certain things which are considered not safe like you have to, uh, you have to touch uh, Islamic terrorism, fundamentalism, extremism and uh, similar kind of sensitive topics where you have to keep a great balance in order to support your argument, support your statement. This is good topic but not as good as the topic number 9. So guys, after having discussed on all the topics, I want to wind up my discussion and I will say that out of 10 topics only one was the safest and only three topics were somehow safe. Rest of the topics were very much technical and uh, not safe for the candidates. If any of the candidates has opted those topics, it is not going to benefit them in the end because they are very risky topics. And CSS is an exam where you have to reduce risks, where you have to be very much judgmental where you have to up the topics which make your future career and path. So guys, I am not in authority to decide or judge on any topic but I have given my opinion based on my experience and in a case if I had been appearing in CSS I would have gone for the safe topic because I have to pass CSS paper through making judicious, wise and better decision at a given time and if I am not judgmental, if I am not able to distinguish between safe and unsafe topics then I must not be the right person for passing CSS. You are given 10 topics I have told in my previous videos and uh, this is responsibility of all the academies which are uh, getting huge money from the candidates to tell them that they must go for safe and secure topics and they must make mind of the candidates that during exam they must not be lured, they must not be trapped by the topics which apparently look safe but are not actually safe. Only safe topics will ensure your success, it will be success of your entire family and your friends and your failure will bring equal pain to them. 
you have invested a lot of time you have invested a lot of resources you have invested a lot of energy in uh, preparation of css and if you in the spur of movement make a wrong decision you are just going after your emotionalism and not following your rational approach you are going to meet your waterloo so the best way is to go for the safe topics and if you have updated any topic that is not safe then i cannot say any word because you have been preparing with academies which have been getting huge money from you i have personal experience with so many css candidates anyone who came in contact with me and also on my youtube channel i time and again said that guys kindly go for the safe topics go for the safe topics because safe topics will ensure your success so this is all from me on css essay 2022 thank you very much for listening and uh, if you have not subscribed my channel please go to youtube and subscribe virtual synthesis academy by zade langa and if you have already subscribed please share the link with all aspirant and needy candidates so that they could also benefit from my talks thank you bye